Hi and welcome to Soul Food, our weekly meditation. Uh, this week, uh, the title of the message was Kainos Apocalypsis, which means new revelation. And the whole idea is that we wanted to build on this theme that God wants to bring us new understanding of who he is, of his love for us, and of who we are. Um, and I don't know about you, it's great to hear people's stories, people's testimonies, and you know, even things that God has done years and years in the past, healing people, saving people, setting people free. But even what is more exciting is when we hear those day-by-day, moment-by-moment stories, testimonies of God's grace and power and love. And, and I believe that over this year, God wants to demonstrate to us how he's at work in our lives on a day-by-day basis and that we need to expect this new or fresh revelation or fresh manner. The, uh, the passage for us to meditate on comes from Exodus 16. And you can read that whole passage and it's about how God's people are, are in the wilderness and he begins to feed them by through this, this manna, this flake-like bread, this honey-like bread that they're, they're able to eat. And there's a passage uh, right in the middle of that, of that chapter, uh, chapter of Exodus 16, verse 12, and it says, I've heard the grumbling of the people of Israel. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. And, and I really believe that's what God wants to, to demonstrate and show us, that he is our God. He is the one that sustains, provides, heals, sets free. And so just like Israel, on a day-by-day basis, they were given this fresh manna to eat. God wants to bring fresh revelation to us. So, so how are we uh, going to be more aware of what God is saying and speaking to us? How can we position ourselves so that we can hear and see what God's doing? How can we not just live on our past experiences, but look for new, uh, new revelation, new understanding, new unveiling of who God is so that we can see him at work in our lives and in the lives of those around us today. Mm-hmm.